morning. Welcome to Toad TV. Cheers. Cheers. Stop touching me. <laughs> I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. We are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. Cheers, everyone. It's extremely warm at the hollow today. So. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. What should we talk about? Well, um, we're making bread. I'm using my bread maker. We're making Italian bread. So we placed an Instacart order yesterday and got the wheat bran that we needed. Yeah. And so now I am making Italian bread. And what are you making? I made jam, strawberry jam. It's from a TikTok chef that I follow. And I'll insert the video um, into the podcast because it's three ingredients. It's the easiest thing in the world to make. Um, so good. He adds we lemon zest and lemon lunch. juice to it. So there's a little bit of a lemon tart to yeah. it. It's so good. So we have, we're going to have hot, fresh Italian bread with jam and fresh homemade strawberry jam. Yep. So, you guys wish you were us. Well, don't you? <laughs> into this. Two pounds of strawberries. Cut off their tops. Cut into pieces. Three cups of granulated sugar. Mix. Probably could use a bigger bowl. And start to crush. Well, that's it for 15 minutes. So it looks like this. Pour into a pot. Zest of one lemon. Quarter cup of lemon juice. Mash together onto the stove. Medium heat. Bring to a boil. Reduce the heat. Light boil. Stirring occasionally. 15 to 20 minutes. So reduced and thickened. Test for thickness. Into the fridge for a minute. That's done. Pour into a bowl. Ice water. Cool it down. Pour into a jar. Lovely. Refrigerate. Woo! Whew. Oh my. Spread. Okay, um, questions and comments yesterday. Thank you everybody who's, who are weighing in on the ice cream maker versus uh, lap stand. Right. Um, somebody made a very good point though about the lap stand, saying that um, to try one first because it's not great if you like to hold your fabric up close. Right. Um, which I kind of do. So I may just continue going the way I am for right now. Right. So. Kathy said that we could trade a uh, lap stand for yarn, so we yeah. can reach out to her and see about that, um, and then try it. Yeah, and see what you think. Um, but yeah, so I'm with the ice cream people. <laughs> I'm just saying. I heard a bunch of people said, you know, uh, the supermarket has ice cream, and yes, it does. And I don't know that we will use it constantly. However, homemade ice cream tastes. So much better than anything. Plus, else. it's better for you because it's all fresh ingredients. You're right. not adding all the preservatives and everything. So, we shall see. Stay tuned because yes. you know we'll let you know. Um, and then um, somebody asked if they would be getting a notification, a shipping notification, when their fabric shipped. Yes, you will. You get a, no a shipping notification when anything ships. It automatically goes out. Um, we should be getting things out by the end of the week. So. Yarn is drying. Yeah. So fabric is being cut. Fabric is being cut. Yeah. Yep. Um, we did get kits directly from Cynthia Treen for the felt animals. So um, they will be coming in little boxes now. They're very cool. Yes. Very pretty. And I think that's it, right? I think that's it as far as admin stuff goes and questions and comments. Yeah. So Helen was talking about wanting to start something and somebody suggested a mystery knit along for her. Yes. You were very subdued today. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay, you just- Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm totally freaked out. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we lost power last night. Um, all of a sudden, just like 8.45, power went out. No storm, nothing, just there was a flicker and then dark. Gone. And, um, what you doing there, Buttercup? <laughs> Inevitably, when the power goes out, one of the smoke alarms has to start beeping. Because they're all connected electronically, so they're just letting, you know, but it's a different one every time. Yeah. Um. And the smoke alarms, the beeping from the smoke alarms freaked the dogs out. So what happened was when we were living in Middletown. Yeah. This is 
ages ago, four houses ago, I think. Anyway, we were living in a condo and we were both working in the store and at one point an alarm went off inside the house. We had to plug in uh, carbon monoxide. They plug in oh, that's right. that's right. into the wall and one of them knocked it out. And it just went all day. And it totally freaked them out. Yeah. And so now any kind of high pitched beeping, they get freaked backup out. Backup truck, the beeping from a backup truck. Which um, is fun when you're working around, you live around construction sites right. all the time. Um, but the smoke alarms in particular, and then now they associate us taking the ladder out with the smoke alarm going off. So, because exactly. normally we have to get up on the ladder to take down the smoke alarm to get it to stop. Right. So, we have not resorted to the hammer yet, though we've come close. <laughs> I think there's one buried under all the yarn in the garage. That's what I'm last night. Um, so, you can't change light bulbs unless you take spike outside. Right. Because you can't pick out the ladder. So oh, and then do you remember in Glassboro, the smoke alarm went off because of cooking or something? And we took out the ladder, and he got so freaked out that he went right through the, our makeshift fence, and we it took us forever to find him. Oh, that was the day where we were trying to get it to stop, and we couldn't get it to stop, and then we set them all off. Right, and, and that's what did it. And when we set them all off, they just lost their damn minds. And Drew stayed in the yard. She went underneath the, the porch, but Spike, he just went right through the chicken wire that we had as a makeshift fence, because for the most part, that just kept them in. It yeah. wasn't a problem. He knocked the thing down. He trampled it, and just he was in the woods for a while. That was that was not a good day, so we try and keep the beeping to a minimum. Yeah, so we had candles and freaked out dogs and it was a fun night. Yeah, and then it finally came back on um, after about an hour and a half. I, th I think it was a pole fire, but we didn't hear any alarms. There were no alarms. The sirens. I mean, it was really weird because usually when the power goes out around us, everybody around us loses power, and almost everybody around us lost power. The beachfront properties did not lose right. power. And then all of a sudden, they lost power, and we were all without power. So it was weird. It was a very weird thing. Yeah. And it, when I first went on to Atlantic City Electric, it said five people in Beach Haven lost power. And then um, a little while later, maybe 15, 20 minutes later, it was 2,600 people that lost power. And then Holgate lost power, so then it was like 4,800 people lost power. So it was just... I have to check them to see if they put up what it exact what exactly it was because yeah. I've heard um, people leaving comments on Facebook pages that they thought it was a pole fire near Walsh Field. Um, well, then we would have heard something. You would think that we would have heard something. Walsh Field is right down the block from us. Yeah, so I don't know. Um, anyway, so power outage, and now they're sending out warnings for today, saying that uh, the storm that's coming through today to break the heat. Well, more than likely, knock out power in certain areas. And JCPNL has already launched their storm cruise. We, we don't see. have JCPNL, so we're fine. Yeah. Well, oh, my goodness. 2020. If I have to lose power to break the heat, I'm good with it. Why was it? That there was something that's coming. Oh, there's an asteroid heading for the Earth. Oh, right before Election Day. Yeah, the day before Election so Day. So the world's going to end with him still as president. <laughs> it's going to be... Um, they think it's going to miss. There's a 0.41% chance that it might hit, but, uh... It's 2020, that's 100% chance, right? <laughs> it's just 2020 math, 0.41, 100%. 2020. Of course it's... Of course we're getting an asteroid. We want to get away. I mean, I've seen the movies. We have to get off the coast because the tidal wave's coming. Yeah. All right. So... Mystery knit along. First, I have a finished object. Okay. Oh, well, I was I was thinking of doing the mystery knit along so we didn't have to hold the yarn anymore. But go ahead. Look, I have a snail. He is the cutest thing. Isn't he great? So you, it, Helen did it in DK yarn because that's what came, and we have a leftover. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do it in the a whole bunch in the bohos. I think I'm gonna do the bodies. Because we have a leftover as, um, nightshade kit that somebody did a, a sample no, for. Um, Night shift? Night, night shift? No, it wasn't the shift. Moon wake. Moon wake count. Okay. Anyway, we have a whole bunch of boho colors left over. Yeah. So I thought so, it would be so pretty to have a line of them. I think I'm going to do the bodies out of a Lutheromania and then just have all the different shit color yes. shells. It's going to be so cool. Yeah. So, so cool. So this will become our... We have, uh, we have a great photo shoot planned for our shipping department. Yeah. Being a bunch of snails. So. He's so cute. I love him so much. Yeah. And he wasn't that difficult, you said. No, there were a couple areas where I kind of flubbed it. Uh, there was one area in, 
particular where I got like halfway through a section and I'm like, huh, probably should have read the stuff in italics. But we made it through. So what was it? It was to work in, uh, it says uh, for certain rows you work in the front loop or you work in the back loop. Oh, okay. And um, that's what causes the ridges here. Oh, uh, okay. So, cool. Missed a couple of those. But that's okay. But they're on the bottom, so. Um, oh my god, he's so cute. I cannot, it's Toft UK. Um, it was a kit that they sold for the Cuban sna land snail. Um, but he's part of Ed's Animals. Well, Toft is Ed's Animals. No, 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 but he is from Ed's Animals so that if somebody no, has think, the pattern. I think this was a specific thing just for gotcha. this gotcha. kit. So, um, but I love his little antenna. Very cool. Yeah. All right. That's my FO. Cool. See, I do work with you. Okay, so mystery knit along. Mystery knit along. Somebody suggested um, the Garden Variety by Paper Daisy Designs. Creations. The Garden Variety Mystery Knit Along by Lisa Ross. So somebody suggested this to me as uh, something to do to get excited about. And it's, um, it uses one main color. One main color. I need two skeins of one main color and then essentially two minis worth of seven, seven colors. So here are my thoughts. And then my main color will be Michaelmas Daisy. And then my seven colors. That kind of nice. That looks against my shirt. Yeah, it does. You gotta get over your mauve. Sure. Uh, acorn, beech nut, red, elderberry, Carrisford. Yeah, you're gonna have to hold those now. <laughs> Hawthorn. And not Viper Tooth, but Privet. So go teal instead of blue. That is gonna be gorgeous. So that is what Something's I am thinking. Something's getting lost. Uh, Karis Fur is getting lost. Yeah. There we go. So we have a dark Karis Fur that came out very dark. But I think um, it works. But with... it works perfectly with yeah. this. So. So I'm going to do my autumn garden. Yeah. So it'll be perfect for fall. Oh so I'm getting, actually, see, thank you very much for the suggestion. I'm getting very excited about this. Cool. Very so. cool. All fingering weight. Yep. Which we have. Yeah. So we should be good. All right. I think the only thing we might have to dye is we might have to dye this guy. For you sure. know, the main color. to dye it anyway. So yeah. Just for the mini sets. So. Okay. So that is my plan. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm going to get a... Very quickly. Okay, so we had a, um, we filled you in yesterday with the saga of the puzzles. So I think what we're doing is we're paying for one, so we're going to keep the, um, the, um, Sistine Chapel. Sistine Chapel ceiling, and we are going to send out the lips as a prize. So if you would like to be part of this, you have to answer the question, what new knitting project are you getting excited about? Or crochet. Or crochet, or quilt. Cross stitch. Whatever. It has to be a new start that you're getting excited about. Yeah. I am going to be shits I am going to be starting I'm the be ships Sharon. Ship sticking. I'm going to be starting the Sharon show shawl. <laughs> oh my god. So I think it was Marianne who said say that three times. Yeah, once. only it was like something teal, you know. Yeah. Oh my god. Well here, Marianne, I got one for you. Sharon, Sharon show, show shawl. shawl. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to be doing mine in our cotton yarn. Uh, I was thinking of doing it in fall colors, but since you're going to be doing the fall colors, that's great because I really want to knit in the cotton. Yeah. So now I can do it in that. So um, I'm going to be knitting it up in some of our cotton colors, and I'm kind of excited about that. Um, so let us know what you are excited about. All right. If you don't want the puzzle, that is fine. Um, if you like the puzzle, that's fantastic because we want to get it to somebody who wants to do it. Yeah. So um, you can just say, hey, I'm really excited about this, but no puzzle, please, because I'm not a puzzler. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Let's see what you're doing. What kind of rabbit hole can you pull us into? Because you know we're ready to jump. Yeah. So add links to what you want to start. Okay. All right. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Enjoy. Stay cool. Yeah. Go we're going to go create. Have gonna go have bread and jam. Yeah. I feel like, like Francis. Bread and jam for Francis. <laughs> we have a, like another hour of the bread. 
Yes. So, but it's going to be hot. Yeah. Good. It's just so good. I'm so excited. I can't I, even tell you. I know. <laughs> the simple things in life. I know. Really. So. Oh. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye.